Hey kittens. Um, yeah. Shut up! I'm an asshole. I'm an asshole. That's something you already know. You see it for show. In every single video, I always be filming. I'm hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is A Dog Delicious, Allison, Official Alley. Hey you, that girl, that's me. In today's video, I wanted to play with my Tatty Beauty palette, my Tati Beauty palette, because I know she sold 100,000 of these. So I know there's 100,000 reviews on the internet already, and I just wanted to be that 10001 person to do it six weeks after the fact. I start off the day with, I've got one, two, three energy drinks, all right here. <laughs> Ironically, I'm trying not to drink soda. It's a no soda November, and I've got these 16 fluid ounce energy drinks. It's fine. The other day, I wanted to film with my Taddy Beauty palette. I know that's not what it's called, by the way. Fully aware. I've been a fan of Tati's for at least six, seven years now. But today, <laughs> I wanted to do something that's like super like neutral, blown out, but with like a smoky navy eye. And I know my Taddy Beauty palette doesn't offer those options. So I'm probably going to do some like neutral blowout with my Taddy Beauty. And then I'm probably going to pull out some melt and use like my blueprint palette. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. I could, halfway through, completely change my mind again. So, unfortunately for you, you're on this roller coaster with me. If you haven't clicked out of this video by now, at least give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You don't have to watch, just what well, you do. Sorry, you have that obligation now. I do apologize, but then again, I don't. Um, so, really what this is going to be is me and my hair and you, we're going to have a little get ready with me. So. If you've got your makeup bag and you're getting ready for work, you're getting ready for school, you're getting ready for jury duty, I don't know. Let's do this. I'm going to do full face. I just feel like it. And I feel like rambling. I'm a rambling man. I'm a rambling man. I'm going to moisturize and primerize and zoom you in. And we's going to just constructively and in a more positive manner complain about life. I'm having a moment where I just feel like, wow, my ring light's not as bright as I actually thought it would be. Pew. It is what it is. When I look this way, man, I just look like I don't even have a chin. It's just a fucking slope. So. That's even worse. Okay. So I've moisturized. I've been trying to play with... <coughs> Ugh. So I've moisturized. I've actually been, I purchased this, this Vici 89. It's all right. It's not super hydrating for me enough, but it's a good like during the day. This I've already used too. This is Proteini. It's probably my third bucket of this little bastard. Hmm. I am so like on the fence with how I feel about Drunk Elephant these days and how like they just don't know how to talk to people. It really shows that they're from Texas to be honest with you. I feel a little tacky. I mean, I'm a lot of tacky, but I feel a little tacky. In my little drawer here, I have a lot of other shit. Hold on. Oh, please. And I just kept thinking to myself, like, man, let me pull some shit out I have not used. Like, this is that Guerlain Essential, blah, blah, blah. So I think I'm actually going to try this again today. <laughs> and if I have a bad makeup day, we know who the fuck to blame. Ourselves. Yeah, it's funny. I'm saying that like, oh, man, drunk elephant be like stressing me out, but like, you can't really tell. This is a drunk elephant sweatshirt. <laughs> I recently went to Ulta the other day and they had a, a Zoeva display. And I love me some Zoeva brushes. I only have one, so I love me some Zoeva brush. And I've always wanted to try the Morphe Y6, the M6, you know, the Laura Lee facial brush is what I would like to call it, which looks like this. It's just like a flat buffer brush. And Zoeva had one. The only thing I don't like is that this is like, like a fat crayon, like it kind of makes my hand cramp, but ooh beesh, I like it. So I think I'm just going to pumpity wump this onto this. Why not? My God, she is scary. 
And I'm already noticing like short streaks are the way to go. Short strokes, hello. Overall, I'm really glad I bought this brush though because I like the bufferability it has. Let's try one more. Shits and gigs. Let me smell you. I think I want to be lazy and maybe just bring this underneath the eye for a little concealing. This is not as bad as I thought it was initially. Wow. So this weekend, I am going to um, a drag show. And I don't think it's like an actual drag show. I know it's at a comedy club, so I don't know exactly what to expect, but I have been brushing up on my drag queen culture. Everything in my YouTube recommended is very like drag related now, and all the YouTube history and all that jazz. It's honestly not bad today. Shooketh I may be. Shooketh I may be. I initially had like an idea of what I was going to wear to this drag show. And now that we're all like, me and my friends are planning out our itinerary and what we're actually going to do, man, my feelings towards what I was going to wear have changed like a motherfucker. So I don't know. I just want to dress warm. I'm going to use the Make It Forever foundation powder and this is a tiny container of the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra powder. So I'm going to use this like around the cracks of my nose and all that jib jab. I'm going to use this the rest of my face. Uh, if you have not tried this, fuck man, I, this shit's great. And the awkward thing about Make It Forever is that like my foundation color is usually like R330. This is R260. And I don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> so... You know, I'm on the fence, so do I want to wear a cream bronzer today? Because I usually always do. So I think I'm just going to pass and do some powder bronzer today. But this has got such a great blurring effect to it. So we're going to lay that down here. I don't know. I'm, I'm excited to like get out the house and go do stuff with uh, friends. Yeah, and be a human again. I feel like I really kind of like hermit sometimes. You know, I go to work and I go home and I like talk to a camera by myself and consider that like an enrichment time period. Oh, I love the way this looks on my skin. But anyway, I'm looking forward to it. I know it's going to be like lip syncing, joke telling, comedy, blah, blah, blah. So it'll be my first time experiencing that kind of stuff. I mean, unless you count, like, the Lisa Lampanelli shows I've been to. Clear out them eye boogies. So I'm going to pack a little bit of powder right on the crack of my nose. The Hydra powder, it just does not seem cakey or drying. And I usually like to, because I can get a little oily in the crease of my lids. I don't really prime my eyes. I mean, I do if it's, like, bright, vibrant colors. But I like to do either, like, a foundation powder or, like, a silica powder like this for a nice slip. And it really kind of absorbs any of the oils on my eyelids. So then that way, our makeup don't be looking like horse shit. Let me smell you. So I'm going to use my Laura Mercier baked bronzer and my Smith brush. Um, and all the drag stuff I've been watching lately, I've been like overdoing it, overdosing on watching Willem and his show on YouTube called The Beatdown. Where he's just literally making fun of shit. But it's so good. It's just so freaking good. He cracks me up. So if you've got any recommendations of who I need to watch next. I've watched a lot of the big names. I've even watched like different um, things on YouTube that pop up. Like uh, Miss Mojo's top ten list of a lot of, of those bitches. And... Um, I know who Trixie Mattel is, I know all those. I even was watching the other day, like, it was a um, YouTube playlist mix of different drag queens, their music videos. And so I went, like, deep into that, letting it play in the background. And it's good, but it's like, God bless, don't take offense to this. I feel like every point of a YouTuber's career involves making music. God, everybody does it that doesn't really need to. Okay, this foundation is cracking like a motherfucker. Ugh. Let me smell y'all. I think I'm gonna take a little bit more of this Hydra powder and like maybe pack it on that smile line. 
because I do feel like to an extent this powder is not I mean this foundation is not gonna dry down like it just kind of fucking hates me let me clean up my mess if you don't know what I'm singing by now over and over don't look it up I think I'm gonna go in with this Charlotte Tilbury sex on fire blush I've been like binging orange blushes and today I kind of feel like being a little mauve chromatic chromatic monochromatic going with my smashbox brush I love this brush remember what I said at the beginning of like I'm probably gonna change my mind throughout this entire gig that's literally happening right now so like <laughs> I keep looking at like those new Patrick Ta blushes and he's talking about you know monochromatic looks constantly so like it is everything in my vein to like just take my crease brush and like kind of mix these two and go in the outer of my crease which is probably going to happen very shortly oh. can I just say okay the Patrick Ta makeup line it's beautiful it's great, but like every single name of every single product is like, she's adorable, she's whimsy, she's incontinent. Like it, maybe not. I am so curious to know how many products he's gonna come up with before he's like, let me just name this beige. I wanna know to the core, does he really remember the name of all these products? She's memorable, she's earthly. She's spazzy. She's, you know, spamtastic. You can't fucking remember all that shit, right? Like, come on. There's no fucking way in hell. She's admirable. She's a mystery. She's a stalker. I wouldn't be able to keep up with that. I'd be like, this is called Barry Boo, but that's the difference between me and Patrick. That's why he's rich and famous, and I am right here. I want him to come up with some names that are like, extremely questionable in the Patrick Toss situation like she's submissive she <laughs> she's afraid of commitment the rest of this video might be dedicated to the name ideas she's inconsistent she's flaky oh she's flighty I like that one better she's unmemorable <laughs> she's a bitch <laughs> You know what, actually, since I can't get that open, so I just thought about it. So if I want to kind of create a little bit more of a monochromatic look, I think I'm just going to blend um, Soothe and Ritual mattes into the crease very, very lightly. And then I'm going to go in with Poet and create a very, like, smoky wang. Yep. So this is my Smith 235. I'm going in with Soothe. I may not even run into Ritual. We'll see. I'm gonna start right in the middle of my eye. I like to like kind of stab my eyeball. Yeah, I could zoom in, right? Lazy. I like to keep my eyes open instead of like, oh yeah, la, 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 la. because I see, I don't even see myself in the viewfinder. I like to keep my eyes open and then I can just kind of barely blush around, brush around as I close my eye. Look how stained dirty this brush is. But then I can actually see my transition color instead of just like doing this number, which doesn't feel very smart the older I get and I play with my makeup. So I um, keep my eye open. So like right above where the hood line is, is where I'm really trying to keep concentration of color. And then closing my eye, I'll wiggle it so it's on to it. And now I'm just kind of scrubbing the top of my eyelid because this is what you really won't see. So that way there's like color here that you see, and then there's color up here. So in the crease, if I pack more color into the crease, it's less likely to crease. Because there's a lot of powder for any essential oils and whatnot to cover up. I could just be blowing smoke up your ass. I mean, I don't know. I feel like it works well for me. I also like brushes like this where it's like flat, but round. Because then I can like wiggle and use the top half of the brush to kind of brush upwards on my crease and then brush down. But I'm just kind of creating a natural smoke. I tell you, every time I get a new palette, I 
kind of make sure that palette stays on my counter. There she is. And I try to play with it religiously, like tapping into all the colors just to So I've been using this Tatty Beauty palette for about two solid, maybe three weeks now. Really ever since I got it in the mail and playing with it. She changes her mind all the time. She's allowed to do what she wants with makeup because she's independent. God, I sound like a fucking deodorant commercial. So I'm just going to lightly brush my lashes. So like, I don't like to go all the way up underneath my eye with uh, foundation, concealer, setting powder just because I'm fucking old at this point and I've accepted it. So brushes like this that have a little bit of a tip to it. I don't know if you can tell, like, oh, here's my backdrop. Anyway, I'm just kind of brushing right underneath it to give it a little bit of a tan tone. And it really just kind of goes from being like pink, red eye looking scary human being to using the leftover on my brush to just buff color, I guess you could say. I also like to do this with foundation powder to just kind of like Make everything all copacetic. Let me smell ya. She's awkward. She's not friendly. She doesn't know when to shut up sometimes. Could you imagine ever seeing names like this on packages at Sephora? I would live and die at the fucking same time. So I'm taking the matte aura shade and I'm just going to kind of blend over the center of the ball, almost like in a circular motion and just lightly graze the inner corner because I am going to create like a little bit of a purple vibe. I turned off the camera for <gasps> three minutes to take a bite of a sandwich I got from Jack in the Box. <gasps> Look at this. There's a fucking juice trail all the way down my fucking sweatshirt. <sighs> I guess I'll just strategically play this pair right here. Let me smell you. I got another one. She is dangerously dependent on drugs. Energy drink number two. So I'm gonna take some tape. Bing. I'm going to tape my face. And I'm actually gonna like do this number so that way I don't take off my foundation. Cause I will fucking do that. All right. Hold please. She's a creep. She's not a friend you would ever actually wanna have. Okay, so I've taped up my eyeballs because me doing a wing on my own is like pretty um, scary. So I'm just going to lightly tap this poet shade. No, I'm not. I'm just going to lightly brush it. Oh, she cute. She's a monster. She doesn't matter. She's another person when she takes off her makeup. <laughs> Fucking love it. Fucking love it. Oh, fucking love it. Let me smell ya. Yeah, that's me. I'm glossing. Speaking of glossing, let's talk about the Shane Dawson palette. I, right off the bat, in watching that series, like, I loved it and I was buying into the hype like crazy, right? And I kept telling myself, like, I'm on a budget. I don't, I just did some declutters. I still have declutters to do. And I, I'm gonna zoom out because I'm just fucking rambling. I, I don't know. I, I just kept telling myself, oh, it depends on what the palette looks like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy the palette. I'm gonna buy the palette. Depends on what it looks like. I just kept going back and forth in this crazy circle jerk feeling. And once I started seeing the initial colors they were choosing, I was just like, oh, I don't know about this. Oh, I didn't take off any makeup. Yes. Didn't have to break out my AK. Fuck yes. Look at that. Fuck. Fuck me up, bomb. I don't know. And then once I actually saw the final product, I mean, the palette, the design itself, fucking gorgeous, right? Fucking beautiful. Hands to them, blah, blah, blah. But like, I don't have like all the expendable cash I used to have because of, you know, different job and whatnot. So I just kind of feel like I don't know about that. And you know, when I saw the Tati palette, because fuck man, I, I stand for Tati. I love that woman. Love, love, love. Like, I ring the bell. Notifications be on. Etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. 
You know, I keep getting notifications for my fantasy football team. I am doing so bad this year to the point where like, <laughs> I don't want to play anymore because I'm in like sore loser mode. I saw the Milk Cosmetics uh, a More Eterno Collection come out. Man, I want the entire box set. They came out with brushes, so like, uh, whew. I want at least one of the palettes and brushes. They actually had a secret sale today, so I ordered the one palette I want. Uh, the brushes are already sold out. I'm still bitter about it. I'll have to wait till Black Friday. It's fine. I'll survive. So I knew I wanted one palette, and then I knew I really wanted the Tati palette. So, oh gosh, she's lifted. She's cosmetically enhanced. Oh my god, I'm never gonna stop coming up with Patrick Ta monochromatic names. Um, so I know I wanted those two items for sure, and so al already automatically calculating, like, how much is this going to cost? Where are we going from here? I know how much Jeffrey's palettes cost, but like, it, there's a part of me like in the past couple of months that's just like, do I love it? Do I have something of it? You know what I mean? Like, look at this. Look at this fucking tower. That's not all of it. Some of it is just fucking stashed in different areas that I don't like anymore, but I still am fully aware I spent the coin on it, and it's just go into waste. So, I really want to use shit. And, oh man, the fucking... The thing that kills me more than anything is one of my best friends got the palette and she's so fucking in love with it and I'm just like, the FOMO is setting the fuck in. But, I know that they're gonna do like uh, a restock in 2020, so, you know, whatever. It is what it is, right? I felt that way about the blood sugar palette. Look, I'm petting my hair down here. Hello. I felt that way about the blood sugar palette. Like, I kind of wanted it when it first came out. I never bought it. And then, like, after randomly it restocked on Beautylish earlier this year. Like, it came out, what, last year? Over a year and a half ago? Maybe two years now? Maybe two years. I don't know. Anyway, I don't care. I finally got it. And playing with it, I found that I just didn't love it as much as I did. So, I feel like with the Shane palette, I need to sit on that for some excruciating amount of time to really see if I really want it. But there's other things that I've genuinely really wanted way more. So, I don't know. I don't feel bad about not buying it. I do feel bad for the, like, missing out on the YouTube hype. But what I was complaining about in my other video, BT Dubs, this is uh, Milk Cosmetics, a... Oh my god, I'm trying to read the shit upside down. It's an ultra matte eyeliner. This is the color Bloodshot. Um, it's like perfect for this little monochromatic uh, she's lost her words moment. moment. Um, I want to support, but I want to support to where it's beneficial on both sides. I'm getting something that I'm really going to love and enjoy. They're making something that I, in turn... Love and a joy. And what I was complaining about in my last video was just all the YouTube videos that you see and you make, depending on who you are, a lot of it is, you know, we are walking billboards for these companies. It's free advertising. And I just, I didn't want to buy a video. I, I didn't want to buy a product and be like super rushed and excited and like want to make a video up and put it up. I can't fucking talk. She's ridiculous. Uh, I didn't want to just make a video and put it up and be like, oh, first and get views. I want, I don't give a fuck how fast or slow my channel grows to be honest with you at the end of the day. Yeah, I'd like to wake up and have a million subscribers. That'd be kick-ass, but I mean, for what? Ultimately for what? So, you guys can pay my bills with your views? Come on now. She doesn't know how to draw on her face. Um, so that's like the perfect, see my waterline? It's like the perfect burgundy color. I, I just don't want to be a walking billboard for brands and like hurry up and like make videos just to talk about their products. Yeah, I'm talking about my Tati Beauty product, but as we all fucking are fully aware, I'm the last person on the planet making this video. <laughs> I would rather make videos that I'm more just interested in. Like right now, I'm just fucking off, 
playing with my eyeshadow, having fun playing with this palette. That's kind of what I want to do. I did buy some One Chip Challenge chips. I have four of them. I just need to find three people that are willing to do it because what I have learned in recent days, weeks, I am surrounded by pussies that are not capable of eating one fucking chip. She's not mysterious. She's an open book. She talks too much. She's awkward in public. She's left-handed and we don't like those. I kind of want to tap a little something metallic right on the top crease area. Like, see what I mean? Like right where my eye is open. Just that light skin color. I think I'm just going to use the, uh, the Aura Metallic. And I'm going to use this little Marc Jacobs smudger brush. All in all, this is a gorgeous palette. I have been having like remnants of glitter on my face on the daily because <laughs> of this palette. You know something else I will say? So like I'm a creature of habit and I love doing my eyes after my face makeup, which, you know, there's no fucking wrong method in life to do whatever you want. I can do that if I want. And I can prefer to do that if I want. I think that's the deal that I keep trying to tell myself. Uh, at the end of the day, I can do what I want with makeup. I love the fact that, okay, so wait, let me back up. I watched, hi, God damn, I need to get carpet up in here. I watched Jamie French talk about the Tati palette and then talk about the Conspiracy palette. And the one thing I noticed was, you know, she used the black in both palettes. This black, and I feel the exact same way when I talk about Melt Cosmetics specifically, there's no fallout. Like the fallout is like, you have to force, like so what I'm doing is I touch something and then I push it onto my brush. I actually learned that from watching um, Makeup by Mario. When people go to his master classes and then they like put the whole thing on Instagram stories, I stand. <laughs> Things like this palette, like my melt stacks, I don't see that fallout. And when I watched Jamie French's video on the conspiracy palette and my good friend Abby, uh, when she was talking about the black too, that there was fallout. I am not about that life, fam. I cannot function like that. I really can't. And I don't even mean it negative to people that do their eye makeup first. It is what it is. But I like things that I can purchase that work with my creature of habit mentality. She's missing. She's found. I think I'm gonna pop this booger open and kind of add a little bit more of like this color here. It's a little bit more of that mauve tone so that way I can kind of punch up the cheekies. I said cheekies, I'm so cute. Uh, she's Preciosa, that's another one we should do. Patrick, are you listening? Because you fucking should be. Uh, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna get this fucking wild hair out of the way. I'm gonna use brown heel. And just, I almost brush my eyebrows backwards these days, like, Legit, like we're going to like, we want them to talk to each other. And this Benefit Brow Gel, I hate how fucking expensive this is, but I have yet to find anything cheaper that actually feels like hairspray or maybe I should just start dipping a little like disposable mascara wand into hair gel. Why have I never thought about that? That just sounds totally fucking logical. Wow, Allison, trendsetter. She's a trendsetter. She's irreverent. <laughs> She's hungry. I am fucking funny. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually remember to use this fucking eyelash curler before I put on mascara. She's forgettable. No. She's got a bad memory, that's what I meant to say. Whatever. This is the YSL Vinyl Couture. I love this mascara. I had it in blue initially and I repurchased the blue one and decided to pick up a black one as like a daily driver kind of testing things out and didn't realize how much, you see what I'm doing? I'm actually like scraping a lot of the excess off onto the lid because sometimes she's out of control. She's excessive. She's not a fan of getting this shit all over the place. But anyway, it just creates a lot of like volume. I love the volume effect that this gives. And sometimes I've been having moments where like, I don't even bother with bottom mascara or like bottom eyeshadow. Cause I just kind of like that like super clean under eye look where the emphasis is purely on the under eye bags and wrinkles. 
this is bad. Thank God you can't see most of it. So this is my finished look. I just have lip gloss on. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, I should take some of that purple and smudge it into my crease, but I'm too fucking lazy at this point. So, thank you guys so much for listening to me ramble the fuck on excessively. I do appreciate that. If you made it to the end, give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down. We can go any way. Don't give it a thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel while you're here if you like listening to shit like this. Um, I'm going through a phase where I don't want to be a fucking walking billboard, and I think that's okay. I just like to play with makeup. I just like to bullshit. And I like to stay at home by myself and pretend like I have friends, so that's what this is. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next video. I Peace out. Bye.